the men in my caregiver life. As a caregiver, my social life is non-existent. I haven't been on a date since, since I can't even remember. The only guys in my life are the crew members at Whole Foods, Starbucks, and the wine store. And they aren't actually in my life. My imaginary boyfriend owns the wine store. Well, he is imaginary. Which brings me to the guys in the senior living complex. First, there is Eric. Eric is the neighbor who routinely pulls his emergency cord, prompting the fire department to respond. Let's talk about the firemen who respond to the emergency calls. One day, I burned microwave popcorn. The popcorn was slightly overdone and the smoke alarm went off. Within a few minutes, the fire department arrived. Four of the finest guys you have ever seen. They represented the diversity dream team and they were gorgeous. They all flirted in their individual manner and stayed a little longer than necessary, which was totally cool with me. I often think of burning microwave popcorn now, just because. Back to Eric. One 98 degree summer day, when wearing shorts and a tank top, I ran into Eric. He gave me an extra wide smile and said, you're looking quite fit today. I simply said thank you, but turned to see Eric with an odd glint in his eye, looking me up and down, nodding his head in approval. I still got it, I thought to myself. Still got it? The man is well over 90. As a caregiver, am I that desperate for a compliment? Another man in the building is Hector, the maintenance manager. Hector is a roly-poly throwback version of Rico Suave. He is a shameless flirt, and the women literally swoon when he waddles by them with his utility cart. Me, not so much. I am well aware that I could never offer Hector the unlimited adoration that he receives from the seniors. That's it for the men in my caregiver life. A sad situation, which I must say so myself. And even though the coolest guy in my world is imaginary, I'm going to wash those men right out of my hair. And then I'm going to burn some popcorn. <laughs>